We are blessed with dark Malvin's key. We are blessed with the Gibraltar minded people and intellectual people. We are blessed with the green, beautiful one, with the blue, clear skies. And we are blessed with intelligence, kindness, and hospitality. And if and if I'm to be born again, if I'm to be born in a mother womb again, and if God asks me one question, what country would you love to be in? I would say South Sudan, and then South Sudan, and then South Sudan. But guys, the truth has to be said, we as South Sudanese, if we are to connect dots and make points, we South Sudanese have let down that beautiful young country. We have let it down. We have let it down when we turn guns on one another. On one another, claiming that I own that country and you own that country. We have let it down since that day, since we make the gun as a source of development instead of books that can open minds of millions and millions. I, the other day, posted a picture of the book of Mr. Warrior belong on my Facebook page. And to my surprise that someone, of course, non socialist he jumped into the comment saying that, oh, are there authors in South Sudan? Are there open-minded in South Sudan? For as far as I know, that South Sudan is the war zone. Most of people are uneducated and they are not even into book. So how come a young a South Sudanese man can make a book? How can a young South Sudanese man write a book? And I was a bit hungry, I was a bit, you know, surprised because it offended me as a South Sudanese. But I cannot because he's half right. He's half right because our country is half zone, the war zone where everyone is trying to take over. I am the best. And I am the best, I am superior over one and over all someone. And we have neglected education and we made guns as a source of development instead of books and knowledge. And whenever I see someone associating me making a difference in the world, this is Mr. Ria writing a book, I feel happy and I see light coming from the end of the tunnel. I see hope that source then one day would be a great country for all of us. Mr. <laughs> Real teacher has been my teacher of English in high school, and he's a good guy. And actually, I'm so proud of him. Thank you, Real, for putting our country in the world map and making our country so proud. I wish you all the best, and may God grant you the protection and the blessing you all need. Thank you so much.